he was tricked into signing documents he believed were a necessary step in the adoption process. But just six months ago, he says he learned he was never adopted. Instead, Sean and Leanne Tui became his conservators. Orr claims the Tuies used their power as his conservators to give away the rights to his life story without him receiving any payment while they profited. Now Something we'd like to ask you. What? Leanne and I, we... We'd like to become your legal guardians. <laughs> I just want to start off by saying that I never cared about this movie the way everybody else did when it first got released. And the reason why is because it's always had that white savior feeling to it. And I was young as hell when this came out, so I didn't even know about the term white savior yet. But I knew that it had that white savior vibe to it. I just didn't know how to describe it. And that's why I'm surprised to hear people now that this controversy has started say that it's that kind of movie. But it's been that kind of movie. It didn't just happen this year. Like, it's been that movie since it got released. And even though I'm saying all of this, I still can understand why people enjoy this movie. Because it's written well, it's shot well, and everybody in here does a solid job on the acting i'm not gonna lie if this wasn't a white savior movie i probably would have watched this shit at least three or four times already but yeah those are my quick thoughts on why i don't vibe well with the movie now i'm gonna give my quick thoughts on the family situation that's happening in real life i'm gonna start by addressing you dumbasses online in the comments who don't seem to understand why this is a fucked up situation because i keep seeing shit like what does it matter if he was adopted or not they took care of him and raised him and made him who he is and blah 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 i shouldn't have to explain this to some damn adults but here i go for one this family did not make him who he is and is the reason that he's in the position that he's in today i mean yeah they gave him a helping hand and all but it's his own talents and his own charisma that brought him this far when somebody has talent and they're passionate about what they do they're going to make it regardless whether they have people helping them or not that's just how it goes now let me address the dumbasses who are saying adoption doesn't matter because he was well taken care of to y'all it just seems like a piece of paper but it's much more than a piece of paper to those who don't have family or to those who did have family but they come from a broken home because to them that paper is saying i am now officially a part of this family a lot of people who came up in michael's position don't feel like they're part of the family until they get those adoption papers now try to put yourself in his shoes to where you find out that you were never even adopted and the people who you've called your parents for most of your life has been making money off of your life story and you've never seen a dime from it y'all not finna sit up here and tell me that y'all wouldn't feel some type of way because you would but look i'm not here to talk shit about the family and throw them under the bus and all that that's not what i do if some info happens to come out later on and i need to apologize for some of the stuff i'm saying i will i'm not too big to do that but shit is not looking good on they side that's all i'm saying another thing Thing I forgot to mention that I hate about this movie is how they made him look dumb and I remember Michael speaking about this like four or five years ago if I'm not mistaken and I don't blame him because in the movie he sounds like a slave who just got his freedom papers in the movie you can ask his character something small like do you want some food and he'll act like he don't know what the hell you just said he'll be like you mean food to eat like eat eat like food for Michael and then Sandra Bullock <laughs> Hold on, hold on, y'all. Okay. And then Sandra Bullock would be like, yes, Michael, food for you. You're gonna love it. And then the camera will cut back to him and he'll be like, can we get burgers? Burgers, mama? Like, what, <laughs> what the hell? like man this is unbelievable and the situation is getting so out of control that some people want michael jackson to take excuse me i meant sandra bullock to give back her oscar i don't think it's that serious though because she was just doing her job as an actor it's not like she's really this nigga's mom relax y'all 
So these were just my quick thoughts about the movie and the whole family situation. I hope everything turns out all right for Michael. Comment below and let me know y'all's thoughts. I'll see y'all next video. I'm out.